No, I haven't jumped ship. I'm still, still looking near here. I'm still with Bybit. But at the same time, I'm trading two exchanges. And uh, it's kind of why I'm doing this with Rune. Um, one, one you saw, or what is it? Where did, I think I showed you on the uh, Telegram. It, uh, you get a clear, yeah, here, see, you get a clear, when you close the sale, it shows you, or when you click on, I'll show you, when you click on it, it shows you exactly where you're at, but this is why I'm kind of playing with, he, it, I don't know if you can see this, let's make it really big, look, here's the last one I just did a couple minutes ago, so I got in here, see the, see the arrows right here, I hope my mark is working, and I jumped out here at the top of the wick, right, there's a little arrow there. But let's go back to the other one. Here's where I closed that long. Remember I wrote to you about... Uh, <laughs> I was back here and got out down here, but I came in again, and um, and it uh, then the power went off. I'm not joking. Like 10 seconds after I opened the trade. And I went, oh, maybe I longed the top. Like I usually make that mistake, right? Anyway, <clears throat> and the odd thing was, I was listening to Wayne Dyer. <laughs> at the same time so go look him up there's a suggestion and uh, you know being in the flow and uh so all the time and then the power came back on right here right there now but you can see it, this is why i'm playing with this exchange you can see the trade where you entered the trade and you can see where you exited the trade right see there i exited right on the top of that wick you can see where i entered this trade here and then i exited there right but this is where i usually go try and do one more so here's a good exercise so that's the only reason i'm doing it i'm just playing with a i started with <coughs> pardon me started with 300 dollars this morning uh, just just you know not risking any uh serious money or anything i want to see how the slippage works i want to see how it opens compared to a long wick on a candle i want to see how quick it, it closes the trades all those things testing it out but now Okay, we've had a pretty good run, right? Look at it. All right, it was back here, grabbed a quick one there. But now let's have a look. You know, just let's say we're trading. So we want to, whoop, we want to go and have to zoom out. There's nothing. Now you can see all my trades are all close together. See them? And we look, and yeah, see? See, look here. We're right here to the top here. So you might, right, look, see here to here. You might get lucky and get up to there. But, you know, you pretty well see we're tagged out, tagged out, tagged out. You know, the game's over. Now, now, trying to go one more, right, getting in here. That's on the one hour. That's how you zoom out. See, on the one minute, yeah, see, we're starting down. On the one minute, going all the way, you go, look, I can't get a clear picture, you know. You got, it, it, This would trick you. You go, well, it's still going. It's going to keep on going all day. Well, maybe not. Because you zoom out by taking a larger like moving out in space to have a look at the earth to see if it's flat or round. No, don't start. <laughs> a guy, flat earth guy this morning. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm probably offending someone here. You know, sometimes like you never get into politics, right? I have this saying, you know, evolution, flies and bees pretty well were probably created somewhere around the same period of time with the rest of the insects. And I think it was a damn long time ago the bees stopped dropping by the fly colony every day on the way to work to explain to the flies that honey tastes a lot damn sight better than shit. I'm sure. So, you know, you don't. But here, look, zoom out. So we go to the one hour, we zoom out to have a look, and we see, and we go, look, okay, we've gone past this, we're here, we're here. We got a little mound, you know, it's probably done. It's most likely done, and it's my night time. It's 8.40. So, you know, what What do you say? I had a 25 and a 38% gain. I ran, what am I up? I took $300 and made it to 4.68. So, uh, uh, 30, 40, 50, nearly, you know, more than 50% 50, 50 in a day. So, that's okay. I know it's a small amount of money, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to, I don't like to come and, Go throw ten grand or something in here, and and then learn a bad mistake about this exchange, or they play against you. I like the guy that created the exchange. So here in near, a lot of you guys are there. 
Well, it's the same thing here. If we have a look here, it's been, you know, I called it out today earlier, and then I was on with Rick, Ricardo, Ricardo, helping him out. You've heard him on, on, um, on uh, uh, Kevin Zooms, very intelligent man, driven boy. Talk about driven entrepreneur. And uh, he was caught out on near. I was showing him how to get out of the trade. It was a great lesson. I was showing him how to get out of that trade. You know, whether it was somewhere up here, I think. I can't remember. But anyway, to it, it, and he was and it, he was hoping it was going to go, and he didn't get out, and then it came back. He got focused on other stuff. That happens, right? We don't want to be sitting in front of a screen all the time. So I showed him that by now it was so close to turning direction, right? Remember, I teach you changing of the guard. And that the one hour it turned at the top. So it was going to be a changing of the guard. And by here, it was solid, all, all red, all the way down. So you take this short, make yourself $50, right? Go over, and you know, you can, on buy bit, you can take a long and a short. So you got a long opened, and it's upside down. So you take the short. Let's do this. I'm going to show you here. Let's do this here. I'll show you what I mean. Let's make a horizontal line. And let's say he was in the trade, say, somewhere here, right? And he got caught out. Let's put it there, just for interest's sake. So now you're caught, and it's cut. You didn't take it, and it's... Well, that, okay, let's do this. Sorry, that wouldn't be right. Let's say he was up here in the trade, right? Somewhere up here. You know, he had a great run. It came back down, took another run, and got caught out. This happens. So now you realize, oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, and, and it's not getting as high. So what do you do? You start getting serious. You go, okay, I, it's turning. You look, your one-hour red candle won't work, but at that moment, the one-hour red candle was super weak. It was a Caitlin, right? So what do you do? You take this short, right, just here, from here to here. You take that short. So let's say that earns you $100. So you go on over here, and in the order in market you can do it by quantity but you do it by order by cost right and you put in you know your, your 100 100 dollars and you open along that's profit you made right you made this short so you made a hundred dollars profit and you open the long and that's creating a new entry and that drags us down a little bit and you grab the net you know you got a few minutes right here and look see you got a handful of minutes so all right, got a handful of minutes. So we take the next short and we play it down to, you know, wherever. Let's say down to here. So, you know, we take this and we got an 18% gain. So we just made ourselves, you know, 100, 200 odd dollars, whatever, whatever the account is. He was playing with 25 grand. So he's making a lot more than $200. <coughs> Pardon me. So you take that amount, you know, let's say you made 200, right, on that. So you go over here and you place 200 in. And you open another long. And what that does is that lowers the entry point of this long, right? Now it's brought down again. And, the, you know, the chart's down to here. So we wait, no, a little bit. Then off we go again. We take the next, sorry, we take the next lot of shorts. And we get 9, so, you know, 9, 10%, right? Remember, we have 10x. So you're 9, 10%. So you made yourself another 100. So you go over here. You put in your $100. And you open another long, and that drags this down a little bit again, right? And you keep doing this. And you keep doing it, and you keep doing it each time. So you take another short, take the profit, put it in here. You're not using any of your balance, right? When you're adding or you're changing the... Well, you shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> should be 10x, right? Shouldn't it? Come on, Mal. Stop doing that. You get all you guys out of whack. 10x. I'm an aggressive trader. Okay, let's go back here. So each time you're doing this, without spending any of your money, what you're actually doing is taking the win, the gain, not a win, it's a gain, a profit from the short, adding it here, opening the long, which then lowers this without changing this, you know, going back. I'm not saying carbon's wrong, but this is a way where you don't keep using up your position margin, adding to it where there's more and more money coming out of your available balance. So then you take the next short because, you, you know, the Red Army's winning. And you go it again. And it drags it down a little bit more again. Every time you take the next one, you go put the profit in here, 
open along and it brings it back down again. Now you run out of steam. You go, okay. And you look and it's at the bottom and you start to see that the market's turning, right? So now what happens? You've, all those profits that you've made, you've lowered this point. And then up it comes. Boom. You're out. It didn't cost you a cent. Not one cent. Yeah, it took a little bit of work, right? Now, the other thing you can do, if you want to, let's go back here. You could sit it out, right? And hope that it came back above. But, you know, it was at a high point before. So the other thing you could do, let's go back here. Let's take both scenarios. Let's move this guy back up to here, right? So you're about here where you started. And you're in trouble. Now, the strategy of what I was just doing was taking the profit from the short, the red army, because it's winning now. Red army, red army, red army, red army, red army, right? Take those profits. Take this profit. Take this profit. Now you're done, right? We see all the green volume, right? All the greens are showing up going to the penthouse. Right? There's a big party on up there in the penthouse. They're all taken up. There's a big party on the 40th floor of the 60th floor apartment building, right? So, right, on your, you're on Billionaire's Row. You know those buildings that look like skinny like this? They're building in New York now. So you could, if you wanted to, as you keep taking these profits, you just tally them up. You know, on a sheet of paper or whatever, right? Notepad, whatever you're doing. You know, and you take your hundred, your hundred, and then your two hundred, so you're up three hundred, and you're up another hundred, four hundred, and you're up another hundred, five hundred, and then you're up another two hundred, six, seven hundred, another hundred, eight hundred, another two hundred, you know, you're a thousand, another two hundred again here, twelve hundred. But you've watched this position margin, as this position margin, because you're at 10x, you know, it might have gone to minus 30 or minus 4, well, let me have a look, just have a, we, I'd go, I'd just go below it, so it's easy. Yeah, you see, you're minus 45 more, minus 45 percent. So, pardon me, you're still lucky. You hadn't had to lose any money, and now when it's coming all the way back up here, and it's back to here, it might be. This is a gamble, but you might go, okay, now I'm only down the thousand instead of the two thousand on my position margin. All the way down here, I was down 2,000, right? Sorry, my unrealized p &L, I was down 2,000. You know, your position margin is what's getting moved when this is changing. I'm down 2,000, but I'm up 1,000, so I'm really only down 1,000. And as this comes back up now, it gets to where you're only down 1,000, and you jump out. You go, okay, I made 1,000, and I gave up 1,000, I broke even, right? That's kind of a gamble. I'd rather do this. I'd rather you made the mistake on the market, just whatever happens, you get caught out, right? You're trading, expect it. That you go, okay, take the short, take the profit from that short, go over here, do order by cost, right? Order by cost, and you put in the $100 you won, and you open the long, which will move this down a little bit. And then you take the next profit, and you made $250, you go over here, Right, and you take that 250 that you made, and you open another long, and it just moved it down some more, right? And it keeps doing that. And as you keep going, each one of these, you're moving it, and you're moving it, and you're moving it, right? Until you get it to where you know you've got it, and you've run out of it. The market ran out of steam. And you go, okay, at least I'm not so far upside down. So you look here, and you look at your unrealized P&L. Instead of being two grand, it's like seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, whatever. And you go, wow, and I'm and I spent a grand, but I didn't spend the grand, did you? You took a thousand in profits and used that to mark, move this all the way down. So then I have always done this. I've never tried to get out of the profit. I'll get to here. You know, I don't, I don't like to lose, but I don't want to say I've always win, 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 right? I go, thank you. I broke even. I got it. Made a mistake. I'm out. Because what could happen, you see, it could come back down. Now, here's the point of this lesson right here now. Where are we at right now? Let's go out and have a look. You see, we've been banging on this line. Boom, 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 boom. Everything's just about done here. What are we? Nine o'clock. Right? Let's have a look at BTC. Let's go see what's going on with the king. Because you'll be watching this in a few minutes. 
Yeah, look, see, it's trying, but there's no volume. Look here, right? They all, they had the first 6 a.m. party, and then they had the next 6.30 party, right? Right here. And then they had the 7.30 party. And look at this, it's like an hour, an hour, an hour. And now look at the volume. Look, I, both players, they're worn out. They've been up all night. They've been partying all night. Well, no, they were partying back at 10 o'clock last night. 10, 10. But now in the morning, they're having their last little, and they're all going, you know what? We're in New York. Let's go for a bagel. Is that what they do in New York <laughs> at 9 o'clock? They all go down for a bagel and cream cheese. But look, see, it's petering out. So that could be what happens when you're doing this, right? And you get caught. Here's what I like about this. It shows you're in, you're out. Let's go to the one minute. So you got a record. I saw someone asking. And it's telling you exactly. You're seeing exactly. Let's go back to here. You can save these, right? It's telling you exactly when you're in a trade. See this here? When you're in a trade, if I was to open a trade, and you got your P and L here, right? There's to close the market. It says market here to close it. But at the P and L, the profit and loss, there's a little indicator, and you can click it. And when you click it, this will pop up. When you click it, it'll show you exactly where you're at. You'll see the coins if it's in a positive, and if it's in a negative, it's this way. And you got a big red lightning bolt, a <laughs> brilliant red lightning bolt. That's telling you how much you're upside down. And it'll even show you what the average buy prices and sell prices and just a lot of info and you can share it. You see here, tweet, whatever these are. I just, all I did was do that and screenshot it, right? But you can you can snap it and see the record of what your trades were, right? See, I got in here. See that there? I know it's small, but I can see it clearly on my screen. And then I got out and the other, I, I got... It was back in back here, and then it went flat for a long time. I opened the trade, boom, the power went off. It's odd, you know, there's a presidential candidate candidate here giving a speech, and he's all for, uh, <laughs> it's funny it happened. <laughs> he's all for, uh, against the other presidential candidate. candidate. They, you know, it's their election's coming up in a week or two, so they flew in. All these helicopters and everything all day today. And, uh, they're both doing all their rallying and their big talks in this province. There's not many people here, 20,000 in my town. Not very, that's a city here where I live. And uh, one's on a platform that everything goes back to government. All the private utilities, right? The water and the electricity and the roads and all that go back to the government. Instead of being privatized. And the other one's saying they'll all be privatized. And the other guy was right on. It was for him. I can hear it across the water, right? And right when he's on saying, no, 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 no. It's all got to be privatized. I guarantee... <laughs> The other guy went to Noreco, the big power company, because there's no reason for the power to go off. Went to Noreco and slipped them some money to shut the power down. <laughs> right when he's talking. So what happens? Everybody goes, yeah, there we go. Private people can't run a utility and they give it back to the government. God help us if it goes back to the government. You know that, right? So I think this is a good thing. You let, well, you can't let me know because I don't have comments. The reason I don't have comments is just, it, it just gets out of hand. Anyway, I hope you see this. I'm just testing it. I haven't jumped ship. I'm just testing it. I've actually been trading two side by, well, I was trading near on this. Doing two at the same time was kind of dicey. Okay, there's your lesson. 18 minutes, way too much.